Send this back. It doesn't pass quality control. What are you doing? What? It broke in like two seconds. Yeah, you played way too rough with it. Kids play rough. Not like that. Uh, since when do we have a naughty and nice score? New protocol. Santa's requiring the elves this year to be sorted into the naughty and nice list. But we were exempt before. Yeah, but lately there's been a lot of reports of elves being naughty around here. What, they didn't put extra chocolate in his hot cocoa? No, they broke toys. Santa, this is ridiculous. You've never had the elves be scored before. True, but it was unfair of me to not hold my elves to the same standards as the rest of civilization. It's not unfair. It's wise. You have faith that your elves are the very, very, very best. Which we are. Then there should be no problem with them making it on the nice list. And any elves on the naughty list by Christmas Eve tomorrow will be fired. Fired? That doesn't mean we would be sent to civilization, does it? Yes, Edel, that's exactly what that would mean. But it's impossible for elves to get jobs over there. Then I suggest all elves make it on the nice list. You can go now. This is ridiculous. I am a nice person. I should be able to solve this faster than you could say Christmas cookie. Hey, Edel, I could really use your help with something. Not now, Doris. I'll give you some help once you fix your eyebrows. Please, it's really important. I mean, anything for you, Doris. What do you want? Vixen is having horrible diarrhea and won't take his pill, but he loves you. Could you help us? Yeah, good luck with that. This is serious. Christmas depends on it. If he's not better by Christmas Eve, he won't be able to fly. Could be worth a lot of nice points. Fine, I'll help you. Come on, Vixen, just eat the pill. Um, Edel, the pill doesn't go in that end. What end does it? No. I know, Vixen, I don't want to be doing this either. <laughs> oh! Now I know why you didn't want to do that. Oh. Only 25%? That should have been worth way more. Help! Someone help! Anyone! What is it? There's a fire in the kitchen. Oh no! Hand me the fire extinguisher! The what? The candy cane colored thing! <laughs> it's out. Is everyone okay? Yes, thank you, Edel. Hey, do you happen to know the time? 11 p.m. It's almost Christmas Eve. I only have one more hour to make it on the nice list. Santa's going to kill us. It wasn't my fault. Yes, Hey, it, hey, hey, what's going on in here? Anita messed up the order and now all the toys for the Portland area are mislabeled. Well, Louise was rushing me. Enough! We need to load Santa's sleigh in one hour. We don't have time for this nonsense. You girls are being incredibly stupid. <sighs> but we all make mistakes. Louise, hand me that list. Here's what we're gonna do. That was the last one. <sighs> 12.01, we did it. Good job, girls. Hurry, we gotta get to the Christmas Eve party. Edel, come on. I'll meet you there. I didn't make it. I'm gonna be sent to civilization. Thank you everyone for another successful Christmas. But unfortunately, not every elf made it onto the nice list this year. The following elves will be asked to leave tonight. Seymour Butts. Anita Bath. Ivana Tinkle. And... Edel, please say your goodbyes and Merry Christmases. Santa, wait. You don't understand. If it weren't for Edel, we wouldn't be having Christmas this year. That's all great to hear, but even with all that, she was more naughty than nice this year. Guys, stop. It's okay. I'm on the naughty list. But she saved Christmas. She helped give Vixen his diarrhea medicine. And put out the fire in the kitchen. And helped us when the toys got missorted. Edel, is that true? I did my best, Santa, and I'm trying to be better. I really want to be on the nice list. After hearing all this, I think you're deserving of a second chance. Merry Christmas, Edel. You can stay. Really? Yes. What about me, Santa? Most definitely not, Pat Myaz. Merry Christmas, Edel. Come on, Vixen. Edel, Edel! Santa needs you in the workshop immediately. Well, Santa's gonna have to wait. I'm in the middle of giving Vixen his anti-diarrhea medicine. Santa's not gonna like that. He seemed very upset. Fine, then you can do it. Oh, and Evie, yeah? no matter what you do, don't get too... <sighs> Close. Santa? Is everything okay? Edel, there you are. Something is very wrong at the North Pole. What do you mean? I'll show you. Look at this candy cane. 
This is one very large candy cane, sir, but I think it's gonna be okay. The machine probably malfunctioned. That's what I thought too, until I put on my socks this morning. They've completely shrunken. Have you ever seen socks so tiny? I can't say I have. Things are becoming all out of sorts. Edel, something is happening here at the North Pole and it is very, very bad. But what would cause this? Nothing like this has ever happened before. I know, it can only mean one thing. What is it, Santa? Someone here at the North Pole doesn't believe in Christmas. <gasps> so let me get this straight. All of this chaos is happening because one person doesn't believe in Christmas? The North Pole runs off pure Christmas spirit. Even one non-believer running around here could make the whole place shut down. Edel, you helped save Christmas last year. I need your help again this year before Christmas is ruined forever. Okay, you can count on me, Santa. I'll tell the other elves. No, no one can know about this. If the other elves find out, there would be complete madness. We have to keep this between us. Understood? Here's the health of the North Pole. The lower the bar gets, the more things go wrong. Right now, we're doing okay. A few extra large candy canes and super small socks never hurt anyone. But Edel, if we don't find the non-believer and get them out of the North Pole before the health bar hits zero, Christmas will be ruined forever. Hey, Evie, come here for a second. What's up, Edel? It worked! Whoa, what's that? Just something to help Santa detect Christmas spirit. Nothing to worry about. What was that? It's coming from the Christmas tree room. What in the jingle bells? Edel, the strangest thing happened. We were decorating the Christmas tree, and then all of a sudden, the ornaments started growing, and the tree started shrinking. This is really, really bad. Help! I'm stuck under this ornament. Help! Evie, come help me, will you? Three, Three two, two, one! one. I'm alive. Are you okay, Seymour? Yeah, that was really scary. Someone needs to get Santa no, right away. No, no one calls Santa. Just, here, put the ornaments away and get in line. Why? I'm gonna scan you with a new device I'm working on. Believe, 100%. Huh. Everyone here believes. Edel, is there something you're not telling us? Why are you scanning all the elves? And why didn't you want to tell Santa? Because Santa already knows about this. Things are growing and shrinking because someone at the North Pole doesn't believe in Christmas. <gasps> everyone needs to take a chill cookie and calm down. This is exactly why Santa didn't want everyone to know. Christmas is in three days, and if we lose focus now, we'll never get everything done in time. Everyone just needs to go back to work and try not to panic. I got this. Everything is under control. something you're gonna want to see. What now, Evie? It's in the reindeer stables. Follow me. I went to give Vixen his afternoon medicine and I came into this. Evie, where are all the reindeer? They're right here. <gasps> Evie, someone could step on them. You need to put them in a safer spot. Okay. <gasps> Evie, please tell me that wasn't what I think it was. It wasn't. I dropped my bag of chips on the ground when I saw the reindeer earlier. I just stepped on them. Things are getting really bad at the North Pole. Can you take care of the reindeer? I need to find Santa. Edel, there you are. Not now, buddy. I'm in the middle of something. I need your help, though. Santa asked us to hang the stockings, but the stockings are, well, too big to be hung. <sighs> Not these two. Just hang them anyways. We need all the Christmas cheer we can get right now. Cassie, have you seen Santa? No, I think he's at the hot cocoa bar. Are you okay, Edel? Someone at the North Pole doesn't believe in Christmas. And with the amount of chaos it's causing, I think it might be him. You think Santa doesn't believe in Christmas? It's the only thing that makes sense. I built this believe detector and tried it out on all the elves, and all of them believe. I'm gonna try it out on Santa next. But before I do, can I try it out on you too? Of course. You know, that does explain why there was a giant snowman in the hallway today. You believe, Cassie. Edel, what are you going to do if my dad doesn't believe? I haven't thought about that yet. Well, let's hope he does. <sighs> Santa, there you are. Edel, did you find the non-believer? Not yet, and I've checked all the elves, all the reindeer, and Cassie. Everyone believes, Santa. I don't understand. That's impossible. But there is one person I haven't checked. Who? Santa, I haven't checked you. Me? Yes. Well then, go ahead, Edel. Check my Christmas spirit. And if it's time for me to retire, then 
So be it. It's not you. Well, thank goodness for that. Edel, the sleigh and all the presents have shrunken down. Things are getting so small, they're gonna start disappearing. Santa, I don't know what to do anymore. The North Pole health is almost at zero percent. And you said you checked everyone. Everyone and everything. But did you check you, Edel? Me? Well, sure, you just checked me. Did you check you? No, I didn't. I think we know what we have to do. I'm the one who's been ruining Christmas? That can't be true. I believe in Christmas. I've dedicated my entire life to the North Pole. I'm head elf, captain of the elf football team, I volunteer at the elf shelter, and- What is it, Edel? And I've been working so hard and feeling so tired that I guess some days I did wish that there was no more Christmas. But I didn't mean it. It's just with all the toy making and Christmas cookie baking. There's never time for anything else. Edel, it sounds to me like you need a vacation. A little break away from the North Pole so you could experience things besides Christmas. You wouldn't be mad, Santa? Not even a little. You're a hard worker, Edel, and the North Pole will be waiting for you when you're ready to return. How's your vacation, Edel? So good. Did you know they have something called pina coladas here? Don't tell Santa, but it's way better than his frozen hot cocoa. How's everything at the North Pole? Great! Everything went back to normal just in time for Christmas. We sure do miss you, though. I think I'm ready to come home. I'm feeling so refreshed, and I never thought I'd say this, but I miss the cold. It's so hot here, the sun is torture. Well, as long as your belief score is 100%, you can come back. Belief, 100%. All right, Vixen, let's head home. <laughs> These are the good times with you.